Mr. Nosy by Roger Hargreaves. <clears throat> Mr. Nosy liked to know about anything that go was going on. He was poking his nose into other people's business. Business. Miss Mr. Nosy was for short of a person who, if they if if they c came up through a locked door, couldn't release looking for the keyhole to see why the door has been locked. Mr. Nosy was a sort of a person who, if he found a un unopened letter for a good dress to somebody else, would not simply have to open it to find out what in was inside. Mr. Nosy was a sort of a person who, if he was um, sitting reading his paper on a train would much rather read for paper for the person sitting next to him. Mm. Ah. Miss Ravelli, as you might well imagine, Miss Nosy was not really popular. People don't did not like it the way it which Miss Nosy would peek and pry into their offence. They did not like it at all. But did that stop Miss Nosy picking and prying? It did not. Mr Nosy lives in a funny tall house, thin house, a place called Tittletown. The people of Tittletown decided that Miss Nosy was become nosy too, and so they held a meeting to judge what to do about it. We, we must find some way to stop be it him being so nosy, said Oh, Miss Chips for Count Carter. That's right, says Miss Rusher, who ran for Titan Wolji. He needs to told a lesson. Oops. If only we could think... <clears throat> A way to stop him poking his nose into anything, said Miss Brush, the poker. And then a small smile spread over his face. Listen, he said. Now, grinning, I have a plan. His friend gathered around to listen to for his plan. For following morning, Miss Nody was out walking along Tiptown High Street. When he heard somebody whistling beside one of the closed doors, I wonder what's going on in here, he thought to himself. <clears throat> and tiptoed up to a door, he quietly opened it and peeked in. Splash! went a really wet pain brush right on the on Miss Nosy Nose, covering it right and paint. Oh dear, I'm so sorry, says Mr. Brush, who was painted in the inside of the door. Poor Mr. Nose had go straight home to try and move for wear paint. It was very different and really rather painful. Mr. Brush chuckled to himself. The plan has become... The following day, Miss Nosy was walking past the laundry when he heard somebody laughing on the other side of the walls. I wonder what's going on in here, he thought to himself. And standing on tiptoe, he looks over <coughs> the wall. Snap! When a closed peg right on end on Mr. Nosy Nose. Oh dear, I'm so sorry, said Mr. Brusher, washer, who was handed for up close on the washing line of the worst side of the wall. Poor Mr. Nosy, 
removed for clothes peg and went off for two for three for an extra extremely sorry for himself and for his poor red nose. Mr. Rosher chuckled to himself. The plan was working. The next day, Mr. Nosy was going f- f- past the fence and he was hammering. I wonder what's going on in here, he thought to himself. T- and, and creepily, very quietly, to the end of the fence, he peeped around. Bang! With a hammer right on the end of Mr. Nosy's nose. Oh dear, I am sorry, says me. Oh, Mr. Chips, who was <clears throat> who later lose Frank in the fence. Poor Miss Nosey has to go sh- home immediately and banishes poor Red Sword Nose. Mr. Chips chuckled to himself, brought his chagrin. The plan was working very well indeed. Oops. The following day, Mr. Nosy was walking in the woods when he heard somebody shawling words. I wonder what's going on in here, he thought to himself and creeped up by the tree. He he was just about to peer off a beat of the tree when he was suddenly calling to him. That is he did something very nasty might happen to his nose. And so he went on his way without being nosy. Behind trees, he, with a sword was in a hand, saw to Mr. Hurd, the farmer. When he saw that Miss Nosy had gone on his way without being nosy, he laughed and laughed and laughed. The plan had work. And Miss, Mr. Hurd hurried into t- town to tell everybody. The plans really have worked because after that, Miss Nosy stopped being nosy and soon become very good friends with everybody in Tittletown. And that will is the end of story. I expect to say that you ever tend to be as nosy as Miss Nosy. Used to be, you better be said one thing. A sore nose.